Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you about the Hike Vision equipment. Right here I have a DS-7616NI-E2 16 port NVR working with some DS-2CD2232-I5 bullet cameras. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware. So first of all, you have to log in with the local IP address of your system. The way to find it is you can run SCTP tool. It's a program on our website. And it indicates it right here. So 192.168.2.39. I have my HTTP port set to 90 for other reasons. So basically, you can type in 192.168.2.39. If it's a port other than 80, then put the number in mine. So mine's 90. Enter. Boom. Log in. Like with admin. Type my password in. Okay, now I'm logged into my MVR. I see my five cameras here. So I go to configuration. And now I'm going to teach you how to upgrade the firmware for the camera. So what we're going to first do is enable the virtual ports. So go to network, advanced settings, and then you can click on the tab called other. By default, it's going to go here. So you just click other and then enable virtual host check mark. Leave this how it is and then hit save. What this does is it makes virtual ports on the same local network you're on because your cameras by default on a separate NIC, they're on a 254 scheme right here. That means we can we can't access them we cannot access this on the network. So it'll be 192.68.254.3, hit enter. And basically nothing crashes so by opening virtual ports you'll be connecting you go all the way to the right and connect with one of these right here so we click okay now we're straight to the login let's see here now since their cameras are already connected by plug-and-play the firmware is 520. This firmware um, has a default password, which is 12345. Login, which is why I want to upgrade the firmware. So we could go on configuration. Left hand side, you'll be on system. Well, by default, device information but for now we go to maintenance if we scroll down it says remote upgrade for the firmware so basically asking you to browse and upgrade so you knowing this is the camera's model number let me copy that go right down to the firmware tech.hikevisionusa.com's website now we go to download Firmware IPC for IP cameras. This camera is a Valley Series. And now here's all the Valley Series cameras with Troll F. Now, let's see. So this one is the DSH2CD22. There's a 12 i5 or a 32 i5. It's by the resolution, mine's a 3 megapixel. So my camera being a 5.2.0, we'd have to we're gonna have to upgrade in order. So I'm gonna go from 530, 540, 545. Exactly what the warning tells you. Firmware upgrades must be done in ascending order. You cannot skip versions. Example: upgrade firmware from version 5.2, which is the one I have, to version 5.3, then 540, not 520 directly to 540. So now I'm going to download, save. Oh, by the way, I'm doing this all in Internet Explorer. It's the only one that's going to work for the video plugin. 
and I typically like to run the program, run the Internet Explorer as admin. So now that it's downloaded, I have other stuff here. Go and double click on it, extract. In that case, it's 540. Forgot to do this one. But at least I got the other one saved. Let's give this a second here. Okay, open a folder. Okay, extract. Okay, so I've got the folder already extracted. Now we go back to the camera, member system, then maintenance. We're doing maintenance to do a bit of firmware. So now we're going to browse for the firmware. And it's going to take me straight to my directory. So we'll go to downloads and find here it is 530. And then the GCAP. You cannot rename the digicap.dav which is the firmware so always leave it at this name hit open now it brings in the url here and i would hit upgrade continue okay scroll back a little bit so here goes the upgrade in progress Okay, should be rebooting now. Also, I created the firmware. You have to make sure that the firmware is a legit USA. Oh, coming from a USA dealer. This camera was coming from a dealer named Triad. So I was able to successfully use this website. which is a North American tech support because High Vision sells different cameras globally with different firmwares and such so if you have a USA equipment you have to use USA firmware Europe equipment, Europe firmware camera spark it was originally a version 5.2.0 update the plugin and got the device info now it's version 5.3.0 and that's how you upgrade the firmware once you advance the upgrade the firmware the password will not be default no more it will not be one two three four five it will be the same password as the nvr since the camera takes the password from the NVR, and that's how plug and play works. Thank you for watching our video, guys. Any questions, just comment down. I'd be glad to help. Give your remote into your computer.
however you like. Thank you. Bye.